you know, there are many, many sick people in this world. And these sick people will proceed to do some of the most wicked things to their own children. And they deserve everything coming their way. <laughs> Woo, they really do. Mm. This is probably a major disgrace. This woman that you see with the bad teeth in the picture, her name is Chrissy. I think her name is Cassie. Yeah, Cassie Barker, okay? She went to have sex. This is a police officer that went to have sex with her supervisor and left her three-year-old daughter dying in a hot car just to go have sex with her supervisor. There are some people on this earth that should never act like they're better parents than us. They should never do that. So this is her three-year-old daughter that was left in an extremely hot car while this animal went to have sex with her boss. A Mississippi circuit judge on Monday told ex-cop who pleaded guilty to having sex with her supervisor while her three-year-old daughter was dying in a hot patrol car that you will forever be entombed in a prison of your own mind. On top of that, she was in a patrol car. <sighs> but you know what, y'all? I've seen them do that to police cars. An officer will get out on a blustering hot day, close the car up, and you can see the dog laboring inside the police vehicle. You know, they, they don't care. These folks, they don't care. They police the way that they do because they are just not in their right mind altogether. And you can see this. And this is a pattern. It, it, this ain't no isolated bullshit. Th these different behaviors and mannerisms you see with them, this is very prevalent in policing. You got all of these irrational thinking cops that go over the top when they're dealing with us, they're not in their right mind. And see, and it also explains why domestic violence and all that stuff and suicide is high among them. Cassie Barker, 29, pleading guilty to manslaughter in a plea bargain after being indicted on second degree murder charge. Barker had been free on bail, but was arrested Monday after pleading guilty. Her daughter, Cheyenne Heyer, uh, died September 30th, 2016, after Barker left her strapped in a car seat for four hours while she was with her then supervisor at his home. So she drove the patrol car over there with her daughter in it, got out, went to have sex with him. And y'all, it was 107 degrees that day. You left your daughter in a car. Windows rolled up, no air on, no nothing for four hours while you went to have sex with your boss. 107 degrees out that day in Mississippi. I don't know what I could ever do to you that could be worse than what you've already experienced. You will forever be entombed in a prison of your own mind. No, she won't. No, she won't. She'll be worried about herself. That's why she was worried about herself on that day. She was not thinking about her daughter because that is her normal behavior, worrying about herself. 
Prosecutors recommend that Barker spend 20 years in prison, according to the Sun-Herald. Harrison County Circuit Judge Larry Borgias um, said he wanted more time to consider the case and would sentence the ex-Long Beach officer on April 1st. I don't know what I could ever do. Okay, that's just repeating the same thing. Um, Barker, who was working two jobs when her daughter was killed, originally claimed she had been talking to her then supervisor, Clark Ladner, at his house earlier on a hot day, a uh, hot weekday morning when she fell asleep. Wow. Ladner and Barker were fired by the city of Long Beach within days. Ladner told officials he didn't know the girl was in the car and hasn't been criminally charged. The mother had left her daughter alone in the car at least once before at a store in a nearby golf port. Um, so she left her in a car, but police responded and the child wel welfare officials took temporary custody of the girl at the time. So she, she had left her daughter in a hot car before and got busted. But, you know, unfortunately they gave her custody back to the mother. And she ultimately did the same thing, and this time it killed her. Police responded to the child. Welfare officials took a temporary custody of the girl at the time. Barker was suspended from the Long Beach police for a week without pay. That's not much of a punishment for leaving your child in a car for, you know, in a hot car one week without pay. That, that's how you punished her. These people get away with everything. The girl's father, Ryan Heyer, said he was never notified of the first incident. Every time I close my eyes, I picture her suffering, and then I picture her laying in this coffin, Ryan Heyer said Monday. I still see her smiling and laughing in my head, and I would assume that smile and laughter turned to pain and suffering in that instance. The father is suing the Long Beach Police Department and the Mississippi Department of Child Protection Services for the wrongful death of his child, saying the Child Welfare Agency should have taken stronger action after the first incident. As a parent, you are supposed to protect your child and Cheyenne is gone because her mother didn't protect her not once, but twice, Heyer said. Barker herself was hospitalized after the girl's death for what the officials described as shocked. How can you be shocked? I mean, you, never mind. You know, sometimes these people do this stuff deliberately. How do you not know that your child is not going, you know, you should know if it's a day over a hundred degrees, your child is not going to survive being in a car locked up with the windows up, no air running, no nothing. And you're gone for four hours. Sometimes these are deliberate acts. They are. Nobody can be that stupid, y'all. A psychological exam showed Barker suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder attributed to childhood trauma and her daughter's death. She was found competent to stand trial. You know, they always go to the mental this and mental that. Anytime they commit any type of crime, you can best believe they're trying to go to a psychiatrist and get declared, um, you know, mental illness. That's why they all use it so much. They all use it so much because they know it's the key of getting out of any kind of crime just scream mental illness, act like you didn't know, you're out of your mind, 
you have a record of being mentally ill, you know, this is why it's so heavily used. You're not hearing these terms all over the place for no reason. You're hearing it because they've learned long before in childhood. You plead mental illness for anything you get in trouble for. It works for everything, no matter what the crime is. It's taught. This is why you hear it from so many of them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.